up YouTube? I am the Boss Gaming. Welcome back to the Urban Gaming Network. Um, like you guys know, I've been uh, playing a lot of Assassin's Creed. Um, you know, if you want to check out any of my Assassin's Creed gameplay, uh, Assassin's Creed 1 and Assassin's Creed 2, go to this link here and um, basically check out all my gameplay. Complete story from beginning to end. Because I'm trying to figure out the story because I never got the opportunity to really understand it when all these games came out years ago. But as of yesterday, uh, Ubisoft has showed the Assassin's Creed Unity trailer uh, with some sort of gameplay in the mix of it, real-time gameplay footage, and it looks really impressive. It looks really impressive to the point where I'm like, this might be uh, one of the best Assassin's Creed games I've ever played. I mean, I've played Assassin's Creed Black Flag, um, which was the, the latest one up to date, and um, that was really good. You played with uh, Edward Kenway and, you know, so on, etc. I don't want to give away the story if you haven't played it. But, you know, it, I want to know what happened to the Desmond Miles story. Um, and like I told you, um, I have um, all the Assassin's Creed games up until this point. Um, and I have not played them all, so maybe I might get my answer uh, once I complete them all. But in this Assassin's Creed Unity game, um, I didn't see any reference or any hint that um, Desmond and the Enemus will be a part of it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I don't know if he died. I don't know if they figured everything out or is they just making um, branch off Assassin's Creed games that has nothing to do with the story, but just an Assassin's Creed game, like Black Flag. Uh, I played Black Flag, and um, that didn't really, that didn't, I don't think that referenced Desmond at all in that particular game, but it was still a good game. Um, from what I see in Assassin's Creed Unity, uh, they have changed a lot of things um, that was a bit of a nuisance to me in the past. And one of the things that I noticed that they changed uh, specifically is how you um, get down from buildings and get down to the lower ground. Um, you know, if you're at a higher tier or a higher elevation, um, you're more athletic, more aerobic, and he's doing all types of flips and tumbles and grabs and everything like that. Um, I hope they just make that a natural movement, um, that poor core type stuff. I hope that's just something that you don't really have to mash a button to do. Um, because I think that the fluidity of the assassin is very important and it has to be very believable. And even though in the past Assassin's Creed games, the, you know, gameplay and the movement of the assassin was pretty much believable, but it was times where getting down was really a, a hard time, really a, a chore, uh, I might say, um, in that process when you're playing. Um, going up and climbing up things is great. I mean, that was great. You can do that pretty quick, but, you know, you got to get down eventually and if you jump down and you're too high up you can die and all that extra good stuff unless you're on a cliff where you know um, there's like an arch and you can dive and land in some hay I don't know you know what I mean but I didn't see uh, any of that in the uh, Assassin's Creed Unity gameplay trailer I mean the jury's still out on it um, like I said I have to see more gameplay of it um other than it just being a revolution and you know people just you know taking up arms and fighting the government back sort of what americans need to do here in america because <laughs> we got the rich who are extremely rich and you got the poor who are extremely poor and that's just the way it seemed like our country is gonna go anyway maybe not in my lifetime maybe not in my kids lifetime maybe a couple of lifetimes from now but um, I, I'm really, really excited to see uh, where this story bleeds <clears throat> into um, the Desmond story, if it does, if it doesn't, or if there's some type of Edward Kenway connection, um, Assassin's Creed Black Flag bleeding as well. Um, even though this is years, years um, <clears throat> um, ago, um, you know what I mean? So. I want to see what happens ultimately. If it's just an Assassin's Creed game where it's branching off doing his own thing, it's his own game, then that would be cool. You know what I mean? I can't wait for that. I don't want to give it two thumbs up like I normally do, but I got to see more gameplay. Uh, you know, it can't just be something that you're going to release annually without a decent story. If you're just assassinating shit, then I'll just continue to play the ones that I got. You know what I mean? 
But anyway, I'm the Boss Gamer, guys. I appreciate you for coming over to my channel. Every comment and every like and every subscription helps a lot. So please don't forget to do that. And like I always say, peace. Hey, gamers. Don't forget to subscribe to my two brand new channels. The first channel is called FPS Boss. On this particular channel, I'll be playing strictly and exclusively first-person shooters. Call of Duty, Battlefield, Destiny, which is due to come out very soon. So if you are a first-person shooter type of guy, type of gamer, type of girl, go check out FPS Boss. And my second channel is Game Like Boss. Game Like Boss, on this particular channel, I'll be playing strictly MMOs, action-based games, so on, etc. Games of that nature, anything that pertains to action, story quests, so on, and etc. You can catch all of it on Game Like Boss. So once again, I'm the Boss Gamer. Peace.